Rekha, your sugar makeup expert. And we have Cheryl today, who's going to be our model for this video. Hi. So today we are going to see the right technique of applying makeup and how it makes a huge difference. So let's start. So on the left side of her face, we'll see the common mistakes that we make while applying makeup. And on the right hand side of the face, we'll see the correct method of applying makeup. What I've observed mostly, women skip applying primer, which leads to the makeup fading away eventually. What I'm going to do now, apply primer on the right side of the face, whereas skip applying primer on the wrong side of her face. I'm going to use this fabulous product which is base of glory pore minimizing primer i'm going to take some product and apply on the right side of her face wherever i feel the need or i see open pores gently with your finger just blend it and work it through this product minimizes shine and prevents oil a common mistake that we all make while selecting the foundation is to go shade lighter than your skin tone i have two shades of foundations with me one is a shade lighter than her skin tone and the other one is matching exactly to her skin tone. I'm using a shade lighter on her skin tone and I'm not trying to blend it very well. What I've normally noticed is people do a very haphazard job with blending of the foundation and which looks very bad when you step out of your home. On the wrong side of the face is not blend it all the way to the jawline and also not cover the hairline. And this way you can see the difference when I do it correctly on the right side of her face. I'm going to use Acer Face Foundation Stick, shade 55 Americano on the right side of her face. This is a medium deep shade with warm undertone. I'm going to use the brush attached on the other end and try and blend the foundation. Please remember, blending is the key while applying foundation. Always apply in straight line and follow the natural growth of the hair on the face. On the right side of the face, I'm also trying to blend it towards the jawline and also go into the hairline. So it's very important for you to set the makeup once you've done the foundation. So we're going to set the foundation with all set to go translucent powder and uh, what I'm going to do on the wrong side of the face is not blend it properly. We have observed mostly people do and it leaves a white cast on the face. Whereas on the right side of the face we are going to apply this powder and blend it nicely. The common mistake that we make is taking excess product and applying on the face whereas not blending it properly. On the right side of the face, I'm going to take the product and place it properly. While I'm placing, I'm trying to blend the product as well, so it doesn't look patchy. I'm trying to go very light-handed on her face and using very less product wherever need be. Now that we have set her base, we're going to add a little warmth to her face. I'm going to use Contour the Force Face Palette in the shade 02 Vivid Victory. Now I'm going to bronze, highlight and add blush. I will start with bronzing her face first. On the wrong side of the face, I'm going to apply the bronzer below the hollow of her cheeks and blend it not upwards but a little scattered which can make her cheeks look droopy. Also, I'm not going to blend it properly and into the hairline. On the right side of the face, I'm going to apply the bronzer on the hollow of her cheeks and blend it correctly upwards. A little on the sides of the forehead to add that warmth and if need be, towards the jawline. Blend it downwards when you are towards the jawline. A very common mistake that we all make while applying blush is not choosing it according to the face structure. What mostly people do is apply it on the apple of the cheeks, not realizing that that can make your face look fuller. I'm going to apply blush on the wrong side of her face on the apple of her cheeks, which is not according to her face structure. Whereas I'm going to apply blush on the right side of the face according to her face structure. Also one common mistake while applying blush is that you don't blend it properly and it looks like a patch. On the right side of the face, I'm going to apply the blush from the sides of the forehead and bring it towards the apple of the cheeks but not placing the color exactly on the apple of the cheek. While I'm doing that, I'm blending it nicely so there are no patches created. Moving on to the highlighter, on the wrong side of the face is apply the highlighter not very precisely. So what happens is it tends to go under the eye area as well as all the way towards the cheeks which kind of emphasizes the pores and looks very bad when the light falls on it. On the right side of the face, I'm going to be very precise with my application. I will apply it on the high point of the cheek where the light falls naturally and it gives a light bulb effect. So after this process, you see her face has got a little structure on the right side. It is more defined and you can see a more structured and chiseled face. Let's shift focus to the eye makeup. I'm going to use Blend the Rules Eyeshadow Palette 02 Firework. On the wrong side of her face, we are going to use one color 
and not blend it properly and do a very shoddy job with blending. On the right side of the eye, we are going to use at least two to three shades, which are going to give a structure to the eye shape. Let's start with the bronze gold from the start of the eye till the center of the eye and blend it nicely while you're applying the shadow. Now we're going to use a medium brown shade and define her crease line. I'm trying to add it to the corner of the eye and blending it three fourth on the crease line, not going all the way to the inner corner because that can make the eye look closed. For the eyeliner, I'm going to use Arrested for Overstay Waterproof Eyeliner 01 I'll Be Black. A common mistake that we make with eyeliner is not blend in properly and leave patches. Let's start with drawing the eyeliner on the wrong side of her face and not filling it in properly. On the right side of her eyes, what we're going to do is first gauge, make a mark like that and then we'll join it to the center of the eye and while doing that, please remember the eyeliner has to go from thick to thin so the inner corner has to be thin and the outer can be thick. For the coal, I'm going to use Coal of Honor Intense Kajal 01 Blackout. A common mistake while applying coal is that we don't fill the upper water line which tends to take away the product from the lower water line. Now I'm going to apply on the wrong side of her eyes just one peep of product and not fill the upper water line. On the right side of her eyes, I'm going to fill the coal nicely and go over at least twice. To make it more long lasting, I'm going to fill the upper water line. For mascara, we're going to use Uptown Curl Lending Mascara 01 Black Beauty. On the wrong side of her eyes, we're going to take the mascara directly and apply without removing the excess, which tends to make the lashes look clumpy and which is definitely not the right way of applying mascara. Also, what I'm doing is applying it on the end of the lashes and not taking it all the way to the roots. On the right side of her eyes, I'm going to remove the excess product and then apply. Now what you see is the wand is a conclave shape and you should cup the lashes and then apply the product. Wiggle it from the roots and try and cover each hair on the lashes. Moving on to lips, I'm going to use a lip primer called Seal the Show Lip Primer. This basically makes the lipstick last long. If not applied, the lipstick may tend to fade away faster. On the wrong side of her lips, I'm going to skip applying a primer, whereas on the right side, I will apply the primer. Although the product looks white, but actually it comes transparent when applied on the lips. For her lips, I'm going to be using Smudge Me Not Liquid Lipstick 42 Toast Roast. On the wrong side of her lips, I'm going to underline the natural lip line with the lip color and not fill it in properly. On the right side of her lips, I'm going to fill the lipstick properly, follow her lip shape and try and cover the lip line. I'm going to set her makeup with the Grand Finale Matte Setting Mist. On the wrong side of her face, I will skip this process, whereas on the right side, I will apply this and show you how it looks once it is applied. Hold it 8 to 9 inch far and spray it. As you can see, the right technique of applying makeup can make a huge difference. I would urge everybody to follow these steps. There's a coupon code attached to this video. Find and stand a chance to win. Like, share and subscribe to Sugar Cosmetics YouTube channel. Until next time, bye! bye.